Right, boys and girls. So, um, just following on from the last tutorial, this is going to be a bit of a quicker one. Um, um, that tutorial seemed to kick off pretty damn well, so thanks for that. Right, so just quickly inside here, we've got a plane and it's got some divisions on it, and I'm just going to get a, uh, the graph over here. I'm going to create a graph, and then with the outline selected, I'm going to drag in that plane. And the first thing we're going to do is um, get some normals create the strands from the normals and we're just going to drag that into there and drag it into the output and then we should be able to see some strands here so I want to make those strands kind of go up to this area where I've uh, got a cube nothing fancy about these cubes um, so we'll just go into the strands we'll make the length maybe 8 let's have a little look it's way too much 5 perfect uh, segments, I'm just going to stick in 20 for now, we can do the um, uh, uh, the update samples but um, I'm going to leave that as is for now. Then um, next up we want to create quickly create our NPM stuff, so I'm going to go NPM, NPM, want to get in the fibers, then I want to go um, simulate NPM. Then I want to go uh, solver, npm solver settings, and we'll just stick our settings into here, and we'll get our fiber, and we'll put that into the fiber source, and then we've got our create strands on our normals, and we can just stick our strands into geometry there, pull that out, and put our strands, our fiber strands into there, and we should have dynamic strands. I press play now, they're all just going to fall down. Um, so before we go back there, I'm going to bring in my two cubes, which are sat there and there, and they're going to kind of constrain the uh, NPM fibers. So I'll bring in the bottom one here, and I'm going to bring in that one here. And very quickly, I'm going to create a uh, constrain NPM. That there, we're going to put in our um, constrain geometry there and there and we're going to put in our npm source into there and then this source into here so we should have constraints going on um let's just have a look in here we've got yeah polar constrained um i'll just click that on anyway um so yeah if we press if we unpause this now i'm probably gonna have to create colliders out of these guys but let's just see where we're at so we can see our strands, I'm just going to play, oh, by the way I've got a little bit of animation on this, it just twists and uh, creates this twisting thing. Um, but at the moment we can see that we are running out of segments now, um, so we can either up that or stick in and update strands. Samples, so it's just type in samples. Um, resample strands. I'm just going to put that in here. Just going to plus one. Stick that in there. Stick that into there. Pull that out there. So we've got restructs, resample strands in there. That's going to help us out a bit. So I might just pull this initial one down a little bit so we're not overworking everything. And that should be at about 100. That is good so next thing i want is some failure on the fiber so i'm going to stick in a failure there of two leave that as it is so let's unpause the graph and what we're actually doing today i should have mentioned is we are going to be um giving the strand some depth some mesh extrusion without using um uh that's good without using instances right so and that's quite simple really um, we'll pull the strands down here and we are going to be using a few plug-in nodes there from the previous tutorial the MJC something or other um, compounds I uh, can't remember the exact name but you'll find the link in the description of the previous video I'll put it in this video as well so let's just pause this quickly and I'm going to create a extrude strands. That's going to create a mesh around our strands. But before you do that, um, in here, just read this. It says you need to compute or update the strands, orientations, or basis vectors. Yeah, before this. So in here, we're just going to type in update 
Um, update point strand, update strands basis is what I'm going to use. So we'll put that in there, and we'll drag that into there, and we'll drag that into there, and we'll pull this out of here, and we'll drag that into there. So now we've got a nice little daisy chain going, nice and simple. For some reason, I find that when I use this um, extrude strands, I have to put in a minus number on my width. Otherwise, it looks like the normals are reversed. But we'll just have a look to see if that is the case. And we're also probably going to have to change the scale because they're coming pretty big. Yep, they're black. Um, and if you look inside them, if you look inside them, well, you can't see because of the shading, but. Let's just change the strand scale. I'm just going to put that down to let's go 0.8. Watch those change. Good. And then I'm going to go into width here and put in minus one. Um, not sure if it's a little bug, but it seems to flip these. Uh, and there we go. Let's flip them. So now we have extruded strands. And interestingly, when you press play. Um, they are pretty damn amazing. So they'll just start wrapping round. And at some point when the tension becomes just too much, they'll snap. There we go. Snap amazing and incredibly fast um, something else you can do um, because we've got a mesh here now we can turn all of that into a volume um, so we could do a let's do a mesh to volume oh, we could just use a level set for now no let's do a mesh to volume and let's pause the graph so we just go into the volume into the volume, pull that out, and then we'll just go. Well, we could do a volume to mesh. Could do it like that, a bit weird, but on to mesh into the output. We're gonna have to play around with the ISO values and the detail size and that, so let's just unpause and see what we've got. Why not? Let's just change the detail size to one. Come on, volume. And we go we'll put one here. And we'll put one here. Right, so it's not showing up, so what I do need to do, because that is not an actual proper mesh, let's get rid of the mesh to volume, and let's go with a, let's go with a level set, let's go with a mesh to level set actually, because maybe it is, volume, volume to mesh, mesh to level set, uh, maybe that, yep, so, Let's just unpause that for a minute. I'll get myself in a muddle. I'm actually ill at the moment, so I just needed to get this out. There we go. Right, forget everything I said. Just go with mesh to level set and then a volume to mesh. Um, and we'll just come down with the detail size a bit. <clears throat> Maybe not that much, but um, you get the gist of it. Uh, let's just bring the ISO value down to 0.5 maybe I might just bring that detail up a bit so we're not stood here for ages and if I press play now when it starts to simulate it's going to be a bit slower because we're using the volume now and Mesh to level set isn't the best way of doing it, um, but I just wanted to show you what happens when we get some collisions going on between all of these guys. I mean, it's still fairly quick, to be honest, for what it is. Um, 
So these guys are going to start spinning around and obviously at the moment they're a lot thicker. We could tighten up this detail on that. I probably should have done a points to level set and then a volume to mesh, but there are many ways, many different ways to skin a cat in Bifrost Graph. I've got some other cool stuff I've been working on, um, which I am going to try and get out potentially this week. Um, so we should just start to see some contact going on here. It's quite interesting. And yeah, as you can see, so because we're dealing with a volume now, these guys are all starting to connect and mesh together and create like a goo which is pretty cool and you can only do that if you extrude the strands um, so now when they break they won't have holes in the uh, in the extrusions anymore because they've been voxelized so yeah that is pretty sick and you can create some really cool looking stuff that is it for me guys just a little quick one really just to update you um, Again, another simple graph. You see, I just did that in a little under whatever it was, 10 minutes, whatever. Um, and yeah, so uh, excuse me for being a bit under weather today, but um, I just wanted to get this out and hopefully you guys can start playing around with that. I'm, I'm sure I'm doing something completely wrong here. I think it should be um, another way, but um, yeah. But remember, you do need update strands bases and you do need extrude strands to create what we were doing there. So these are two um, plugins, Rebel Pack and MC. Uh, again, I'm forgetting what it's called, but it's. Um, um, I'll put the link in the description. All right, guys. Cheers. Nice one, and I will speak to you soon. Subscribe, like, subscribe, share. Cheers. Goodbye.